Hey YouTube, this is Jay DeLuisa posting a video on my EDC light source or flashlight. Mostly in response to Beast who asked a question on his channel about people's preference for EDC flashlights and how they most typically use them. One EDC light source which you know anybody who's been to a concert it's not exactly a flashlight but I can't tell you how many times I pulled that thing out of my pocket and lit it so that I could find my car keys or some other thing I was looking for if that's all that I had and it's also nice to have a fire source and it's also nice to be able to hold your flashlight up or your you know your bic your light up at a concert right the uh, next flashlight that I carry on my person nearly at all times is the uh, County Com Meritac AAA. This flashlight has three modes of operation and these modes are accessed by turning the bezel. So that is a low lumen mode at 1.5 lumens and will last approximately 50 hours. Actually, sorry, that's low. This is the high output mode. Approximately 80 lumens will last for 48 minutes. And medium mode, which is 18 lumens and will last approximately 4 hours. Um, I practice medicine and sometimes work in the emergency room and find that this is an excellent flashlight for checking people's pupils, looking in the back of their throat. They'll say, hey, you know, I have a sore throat. And I'll look right back there and say, you know, no kidding, you have basically mold on your tonsils and we need to give you something for that. I also like the, the way that this feels and I, I find that I quite frequently do this kind of thing when I'm bored. The uh, next light that I keep in my possession or close at hand nearly at all times is the Phoenix LD20. And I'm sure a lot of you guys out there have this flashlight. This has two general modes of operation. One is turbo mode, the other one is general mode. In turbo mode, it produces 180 lumens and will last approximately two hours and 16 minutes with lithium ion batteries. You change modes on this thing by either turning the bezel and depressing the tail switch. So when the bezel is tightened all the way down and you depress the tail switch, you get turbo mode, again, approximately 180 lumens. A half press of the tail switch will activate a strobe light, which is very good to use in a tactical situation because if you point this at somebody, their eyes cannot adjust fast enough to compensate for the strobe and they lose their depth perception. By turning the bezel, you go into general mode, which again has basically four settings. You have low, five lumens will last approximately 100 hours. Medium, 30 lumens will last about 15 hours. High, at 81 lumens will last about 5 hours and 50 minutes or so and then you have an SOS beacon which is also at 81 lumens. It's got a nice little clip, it fits in my pocket. Um, the clip keeps it from falling out, not that it couldn't but it helps. A little bit of a scalloping on the bezel there, so if you got into a situation where this was the only thing you had, you could uh, probably whack somebody pretty good with that thing. I wouldn't want to be hitting the forehead with that. Um, fairly waterproof, fairly durable little flashlight. I'm sure plenty of you guys have them. Beast had asked whether or not people put the flashlight in their mouth and I'm sure everybody puts the flashlight in their mouth at some point or another but if I'm going to be around camp doing chores or I know that I'm going to be needing a light source and use the both of my hands for extended periods of time I uh, picked this thing up at REI it is a black diamond storm 
it actually has three different LED light sources. This LED light source in the middle ranges anywhere from 100 to 4 lumens. Then you have these little white LEDs which are 40 to 4 lumens. And then if you hold this down It has this uh, red LED that can um, help preserve your night vision. And then three clicks on that will give you a strobe. The one thing I don't like about this is I'm always fumbling around with the switch to try and get the modes to work, and maybe it's just because I'm impatient. And then you have your flashing strobe as well. Um, I use this to run in the evenings. If I get out of work and it's late, I'm still gonna go for a jog because I think physical fitness is a very important part of prepping and being ready for things. And rather than just not run, I'll use this in strobe mode so that, you know, at least automobiles know I'm in the area. The uh, final EDC light source, which isn't necessarily a flashlight, but it is something that I use almost constantly. I carry it with me almost daily um, and use it throughout the course of my day is the Welch Allen Lithium-Ion Otoscope. It has a halogen bulb in it. I wish it had an LED bulb, but I guess the halogen bulb produces a more neutral light when you're trying to determine whether or not um, something's miscolored when you're looking at some body part or inside of somebody's ear. Has a, uh, a little dimmer there. It's magnified. And a little wall charger. Um, I typically find that I use this thing pretty much Constantly, I see you know 20 to 40 people a day, five to six days a week, and pretty much every single time I examine somebody, I'm looking inside of their ears or checking their throat or something like that. Um, for me, it's a pretty invaluable piece of equipment. Part of my EDC light. Anyways, Beast, um, wanted to give you a little shout out. I really appreciate your channel. I think you're doing a good job and uh, happy holidays and um, good luck in the new year.